What's up, everybody? Uh, I'm, my name is Samir, and I'm here to teach you about an if statement today. And our our program, sorry, is gonna be this. Commission is based on the square footage of the storage shed sold. A salesperson will know the length and width of the shed. If the number of square feet is less than 200, then the commissioner commission is 7% of the total sales price. Otherwise, the commission is 11% price per square foot is five dollars so these are the three things we're gonna need right now txt length txt width txt answer and cmd uh, calculate alright and if you want cmd reset alright now I'm just gonna go back to my GUI and rapidly make the GUI alright That's done. Let's go in to calculate. Now here here are our private subs. And the first thing you want to do is come up here. Or no, better yet, we'll keep it in this private sub. It's called a local variable. Variable is something you can place a value within, whether it be characters, symbols, numbers data any form of data can be stored into a specific type of a variable so how do you declare a variable dim short for dimension and then the name of your variable right now let's name it I don't know area alright now how about square foot as double Now, square foot. What do you want? Ah, oh, okay. It might. It'll say unused, but we're about to use it. So let's go back up here and type in square foot equals txt length dot text times txt width dot text. All right, that'll work out. Now. The total square footage is now stored in square foot. I see that error has disappeared. Now we get to our if statement. There's four parts to an if statement. If, then, uh, and if. Three, three main parts. Three main parts, one, I don't know, you can use it else, okay? These are the main parts of an if statement. You don't need it. You don't always need it else. Okay. So, what did this say again? If the number of square feet is less than 200, then the commission is 7% of the total sales price. 
Alright. If square foot is less than 200, then then what happens is square foot equals square foot times 0.07 why because 0.07 is 7% and you can't really do this in VB you know alright so 0 0.07 and we don't need to uh, declare another variable when we can just replace the current value in here alright so now we can just end it And right now, I'm not going to give you an else statement. I'm just going to put if. Actually, yeah, let's do an else. Else. If square else square foot equals itself. times 0.11 for 11 percent you don't need that oh yeah you do alright why didn't I put a second if because if it's an, if it's less than 200 then it's gonna do this if it's more if it's anything different than this it's gonna do this so you don't need to say square foot if square foot is greater than 200 over here because it already knows that so now so we have our value of square foot but now we we can't output our answer just yet because our output has to be a money amount. Price per square foot is five dollars, right? So now, what are we gonna have to do? Square foot. Hang on. Alright, so now we're going to come up here and declare another variable. Alright, this time it's going to be dim. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not too sure what to name it. Okay, right now I'm going to do price as double, okay? Now, come, in, come over here underneath square foot. Now, square foot or price equals square foot times five because it's five dollars per square foot so the price is now going to be square foot times five dollars so say the square fee is ten dollars the price will be fifty dollars for that all right now I made a mistake let's just come down here take square foot and replace it with or no yeah price replace all these square foot with price why because we can reestablish the base value now we can output price txt oh, what was it total alright txt total dot text equals price. Is that how it works? Yeah. Alright. That's done. Now let's go back to our reset button. Txt length dot text equal txt width dot text equal txt total dot text equal alright and let's run the program now alright so here's our program length 10 width 10 so let's do this in our heads first okay the square footage is going to be a hundred and multiply by five is five hundred dollars whatever seven percent of five hundred is calculated what fucker okay reset
that we have a bug. Give me a second to find the bug, guys.